the Ruger LCP Max. Let's check it out. Ruger introduced the LCP in 2008. It was really a tiny little firearm. And guys, I have carried this firearm for a number of years and still do on occasion. In 2016, they came out with the LCP-2, which has a lot of improvements over the LCP, but it's just a little bit bigger. And then in 2021, they're introducing the LCP Max. This is a higher capacity 380 ACP, actually carries 10 or 12 rounds. And this gives you a lot of firepower for a really small package. And one of the big advantages of the LCP Max is it is a very small pistol. The recoil is fairly mild. It's great to be able to carry for light carry or for those who really are recoil sensitive. And yet you have 10 or 12 rounds plus one. And I wanna thank Ruger for sending the LCP Max for this review. Guys, it's been a long time since the 380 has had a double stack magazine in a current production pistol. And I really am glad that they've kind of come up to the new Micro 9 double stack pistols that are, that are out there. Uh, there's so many different ones. And so why not go with the 380 and give it that extra capacity? So I think Ruger's done a great job with doing that. And I know they have sold a ton of these LCPs. Again, we have that original LCP, which these have been around for a long time. Uh, this one has the Talon grips, and it has the Arachna grip along the top, just to give me a little bit better gripping surface. But I really love this little pistol. But unfortunately, this one's going to go away because, you know, having that higher capacity magazine is something else. I mean, with the LCP, you've got just six rounds in one of the chambers. So I've got seven rounds uh, with the LCP. I have the 10 plus I have a finger groove base plate that comes with it. It only comes with one magazine. And then we have a 12 round magazine and you can get these from Ruger. Let's go ahead and check to make sure the gun's unloaded. And again, we had that flat uh, base plate, uh, very slick finish mag, and then the gun is empty. Now with this firearm, one of the big advantages to me over the standard LCP is, is the last round bolt hold open. So once I fire it, it's gonna hold open and it held open every time. So that gives you a lot of confidence. You have your slide release right here and you can hit it. Now with the magazine inserted and the slide release engaged, it is almost, there it goes, but it's almost impossible. So this is really a slide stop more than a slide release, but it does work. This is a very small pistol. And so it's gonna hang off the edge, but really with this little bit of a finger rest, it gives you really a good size full grip. Now, if you have large hands, you know, that's not gonna be the case. Uh, then you can bring in the 12 rounder, which gives you a little more. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and show the 12 rounder. I mean, they go in really well. One thing I do like about it is that because it's beveled at the top and you have a little bit more of a mag well, you're gonna be able to slide those magazines even easier than you could with the originals. And then here we have the original LCP-2. Uh, and of course, the design lines are very similar. I mean, it's pretty much the same. In fact, Ruger says that the LCP Max will fit into any of your LCP-2 holsters. But really the biggest difference is it's just a little bit thicker. And you can see, I mean, it is not a lot thicker. And so now I have the 12 round magazine on there and you can see that it doesn't go too far and yet I'm getting that extra capacity of six rounds with the LCP-2 
12 rounds in this configuration. I mean, that is a 50% increase. Another thing that's really big are the sights. Uh, we have the dovetailed sights on the LCP Max, and that way you're going to be able to change those out. On the LCP 2, I mean, you're pretty much stuck with what you have. But this is a self-defense firearm, and it's up close and personal. And to be honest with you, you know, these sights are adequate. But now speaking of sights, uh, the sights on here are really excellent. I mean, we have a blacked out serrated rear sight with a U-notch, and then we have a tritium bead at the front. And again, these are dovetailed. And they're also compatible with the Smith & Wesson bodyguard sights. So you're going to have a lot of options to be able to put sights on here. But personally, uh, I would really stick with what's here. But if you have a particular choice, it's going to give you some options. Now this site does have a little cocking shelf right here, which I really like. Uh, you can cock this with one hand off your belt, off of a hard surface, or even the sole of your boot. But overall, they're pretty much the same dimensions. Uh, now the slides themselves have some improvements with the Max. And first off is the extractor. Uh, the extractor is a little bit short. It's a real pain to pull out. With the LCP Max, you're going to have a longer ejector. It's actually easier to pull out. Uh, it has a pin that drives all the way through. And so this is going to make that a little bit better. Now, one of the things about the LCP Max is that they have had other improvements in, internally to make it just more reliable. With the sear to hammer geometry, uh, it's been improved. It's just going to make it a more reliable firearm. And when you get to these really small pistols, I mean, they're very simple, but you can have very slight differences and they can cause issues. So it's really good to see Ruger really kind of improving the design overall, not just adding, you know, 10 to 12 rounds. One thing you'll notice too with the LCP2, you're pretty much stuck with the mag release. On the LCP Max, you're able to switch this out to the other side, which is going to give you some advantages. Now the new Max 9 does hold open on the last round, uh, and that is a big plus. The original LCP did not. Uh, with the LCP2, it will if you're using the LCP2 magazines, even though these are compatible with your standard Ruger magazines for your LCP. Now the LCP Max comes on the heels of the Max 9, and this is their 9mm pistol that just came out, and uh, 10 rounds up to 13 round capacity, and the gun is unloaded. Uh, this one comes with really good sights. In fact, it's a fiber optic with a tritium bead. And to be honest with you, most of the controls are very similar. Now, with the LCP Max, you don't have an external safety, which I do like. Uh, I believe you can get the Max 9 without the external safety. But if that's what you want, uh, I'm sure that the LCP Max will be available. But this one is optics ready. Uh, there's a lot of advantages. It is 9mm, so you're going to have a little more self-defense capability with the 9. And if we put in our flush fit magazine, you can see, you know, you've got considerably less size with the LCP Max, and you have less width. So this is going to be a very easy gun. Put in your pocket, deep cover, deep concealment. And so there are some advantages to having a smaller firearm. Now the barrel is 2.8 inches in length. Uh, it is all alloy steel. Typically with the Rugers, uh, it has a black oxide finish on it, and then it looks like it's been tumbled. That's just the way that Ruger typically does their firearms. Overall, it's 5.7 inches in length, and it's 4.12 inches in height. Again, a very small, thin handgun. Now one nice improvement that they made was to the slide were these little cocking shelves. They're very minimal, and yet it gives you a nice bite right here with the serrations. Here on the original LCP2, you can see that it's just plain. Even on the Max 9, they did not add those cocking ears. There is an aluminum frame insert. We'll look at that when we break it down. It's going to give it a little more uh, rigidity and less flex with this actually glass nylon filled frame. There's been improvements with the magazine feed lips. Uh, there's been improvements with the feed ramp and also the barrel cam geometry. It delays a little bit longer, and so it allows for less recoil. It just kind of dwells, and then it comes back, and a lot of the gases are already spent. And we're going to test that out at the range right next to the LCP. The grip texturing is laser cut. It's a medium grip texturing. Honestly, I think that with the LCP2, it has a little bit more aggressive texturing. Uh, but you can see there is some differences, and you have a smoother finish up here at the top, but where you grab it and where your hands are, uh, it has more of an aggressive texturing, and which could really aid in concealed carry. 
It doesn't have all these geometric lines that go along the top. It's just pretty smooth. And honestly, I really like that. Now this is a single action hammer fired pistol. I'm gonna bring it back. You can see the hammer sitting right here and when you pull the trigger, it goes forward. And so this isn't a striker fire pistol, it's more of a single action hammer fired pistol. Now it does have a gap right here at the cylinder and this is your loaded chamber indicator. Here you can see the loaded round through the chamber and so that is your loaded chamber indicator. Of course it has bevels along the slide and this is gonna allow for easier holstering of the firearm. Uh, it does come with a pocket holster, uh, and it has that sticky material, and so it just slides right in. You can slip this in your front pocket, in your back pocket, and it just gives you some protection, but it also kind of takes away from the lines of a firearm. But of course, obviously, there's a ton of holster options for the LCP, and so that way you can carry it however you want to. We have 380 ACP, and we have 9mm. Uh, really, these are the same diameter as far as bullets. In fact, in Europe, this is called the 9mm Kurtz for short. This is a 95 grain bullet moving at 960 feet per second. This is Fiocchi. And this is the 115 grain full metal jacket, and it's going at 1200 feet per second. So you have a considerable amount of advantage with 9mm, but you're gonna have more recoil. With the LCP Max, 11 ounces. LCP2, 10.6 ounces. Guys, that's less than half of an ounce difference. The original LCP, 9.6 ounces. Ruger Max 9, 18.4 ounces. Considerably heavier. Now when it comes to the trigger, we're gonna go ahead again and drop the magazine, check the chamber, and it's unloaded. Uh, it does have what they call the Secure Action Bladed Trigger. And this is very similar to the Security 9 and the Ruger 5.7. There is a small blade here that's going to be a safety. Uh, and it keeps you from inadvertently hitting the edge of the trigger and this going off. Now, one of the things that I'm going to tell you that's kind of funny is that when you pull the trigger, <laughs> that is a C. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. It just has that C sound to it. Reset. About right there. There we go. So if you want to have the C, unload your firearm, you can get C. <laughs> and I checked it. <laughs> but as far as the serious trigger action, uh, we have some take up right to about here. Now you'll notice there is a trigger stop down here at the bottom. And so when you pull the trigger, there's take up, there's just a little bit of resistance there, and then there's the break. It's not a competition trigger, but it's definitely an improvement over the other LCP line. And for those of you who are wondering, we're going to try the LCP2 to see if it has a tone. Nope, it's just a ting. But it's definitely not as good as the LCP Max. Let's check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Five pounds, 3.1 ounces. Four pounds, 15.2 ounces. So around the five pound range, and guys, this is nice because these original LCPs, the trigger pull was about 10 pounds. It was horrible. Now this is one of the upgraded versions and it has a better trigger. And then of course with the LCP2, they even improved the trigger even more. And so I think it, they're really going in the right direction. The one thing about the C note, is that you have some culture when you're firing your firearm. And you're sure not going to be able to hear it because 380 is a lot louder than that C note. <laughs> now you do get a loader that comes with the pistol uh, and it's just one that pushes down. I'm going to tell you with these magazines, especially the 12 rounders, once you get about 10 rounds in, it gets a little bit stiff. At least it did at first. So just depress the loader, throw your round in, lift up, and then push back. And so it's a great little loader, easy to load. Now, for me, I'm a big fan of the Lula loaders, and Lula sends these to me because they know I love them. And the, even the full-size Mag Lula works. And we really appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo. Uh, this is the 380 Full Metal Jacket. And guys, right now, 380 is a little difficult to come by. Hopefully, that'll change. It's starting to change. But uh, this is all made in the USA, and guys, this stuff is very reliable. Guys, we went down to the range and I knew what to expect with the LCP2 and the LCP. I've been carrying them for years. 
Uh, they're very reliable little small tiny handguns, very easy to conceal. Uh, and even with this small package, with 380 ACP, they're fairly mild to shoot. And actually with the LCP2, this pistol was designed to mitigate even more of the recoil. And so it's really easy to shoot. Now I really love the sight system they have on here with that tritium front bead. Uh, but what really makes a difference is that it's dovetailed and if I want to switch these out, I can. Even with the 12 round magazine, it barely adds any link to the grip and it just is a soft shooting, very reliable handgun. Uh, we had no malfunctions at all with the LCP Max. Now guys, it's tiny, it's small, and so shooting it even in 380 ACP is gonna have a little punch, but it's very manageable. Guys, I highly recommend shooting with one hand, uh, whether it's your strong arm or your weak side. Uh, something can happen to your hand and it can really limit you know, your use of this firearm. But one thing that I found was that with the LCP Max, uh, it shoots naturally one-handed. Uh, sometimes, especially with 9mm and above, you know, it tends to really ride in a different angle. With the LCP Max, it seemed to really stay on target. And then with that rear sight that has the cocking shelf, if you do need to reload, you can do it on your boot, your belt, or some hard object. Now we're going to compare the original LCP to the LCP Max. Uh, this has some federal HST ammunition in both, so we're just going to really test the recoil. Definitely a noticeable difference between the two. Uh, the small LCP is super thin and the grip already helps but uh, you can tell that there's just a little bit less recoil with the Max. Now let's disassemble the firearm, the magazine's out, the gun is unloaded. Go ahead and bring it back and engage your slide lock. Uh, right here is your takedown lever. There's not a pin to push through from the other side. Now you can take a small shell, get up under it, and pop it out, or you can take a small flathead screwdriver. We can take this right out. Uh, that is one thing that a lot of people complain about is that you have to have some kind of tool to be able to disassemble it, and two, this comes out of the pistol. So I would have to say that's a little bit of a con. Uh, now you don't have to pull the trigger to pull the slide off. It just comes right off. Uh, here we have our recoil spring. It is a dual recoil spring it is not captive but it is on a steel guide rod and then we have our barrel we're gonna have to pull that thing out there we go with that bevel on the end it makes it a little difficult uh, with the feed ramps it's been really improved i mean they're very smooth polished even though they are black oxide or blued um, and so the, again they have had some changes to the barrel itself here with the frame we have the aluminum frame it's an insert and it has the rails that run all the way down so that's going to give you a little more contact surface with the slide and so it's going to really help to keep this rigid and again it's not going to have a lot of flex i like that uh, here you can see that the hammer which is an internal hammer but it's a really simple design but it is a super small pistol and guys that's all you need to do to field strip uh, for reassembly take our barrel Get it back in, take our recoil spring and guide rod. There's a small cavity in front of the barrel hood right here, you can see. And so it just fits down into that cavity. And then we're going to bring it back over our slide. Now, you don't want to engage your slide lock because the barrel comes all the way back. And so what we're going to do is, is go ahead and just try to get this pin in here. Just bring it back a little bit. And you want to get it where there's a little bit of a gap in the barrel. And there's a spring right there. You've got to get it over it and then push it through. It's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Now pros and cons of the pistol. I love the last round hold open. I love the improved trigger. Uh, it just seems more solid when you're firing it. And of course with the 10 to 12 rounds, you've got a fairly decent capacity and still a really small firearm. I love that they've dovetailed the sights, which gives you options. It's one of the things about the originals that the sights were fixed and there was no changing. And I think the geometry in the internals also has been improved just to give you better reliability. 
it is in 380 ACP, which is on the lower level of acceptable self-defense. But one thing about 380 ACP is it's more controllable because of less recoil, and you're able to get better shot placement. And that's one thing that you definitely want to do uh, if you're carrying a 380. You want to make sure you get those shots on target. The difference with the LCP is you have six rounds. With this, you have up to 12 rounds. So it gives you a lot more capacity. And then again, with those with weaker hand strength or that are just a little bit recoil shy, the LCP Max is going to be a great option. Now as far as price goes, and this has just come out, so all I can go by is the MSRP, and it's $449. But the LCP2 retails for $409. And so you'll probably pay about $30 difference for the LCP Max compared to the LCP2. So that just gives you kind of a ballpark. I think that the LCP2 right now at Academy is running about $329. So guys, if you're looking for a really small, lightweight carry option, or you're more recoil sensitive and you like something that's just really soft to shoot and yet has a really high round capacity, uh, check out the LCP Max. Uh, the LCP line has been around for a long time and it's been proven. And now with the LCP Max and the advances in this system, uh, this is a great option, especially for 380. And again, we want to thank Ruger for sending the LCP Max for this review. Guys, if you depend on a firearm for self-defense, it's really important that you don't go it alone. I've been a member of the USCCA, or the United States Concealed Carry Association, for over four years, and it really gives you peace of mind. The USCCA was founded to help you understand laws and self-defense education. They offer industry-leading training, and to me, one of the most important features is they offer self-defense liability insurance. They have 100% risk-free, money-back, bulletproof guarantee. I'll have an affiliate link down below in the description. And guys, when it comes to a self-defense situation, with USCCA, you have a friend. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Recoil is really low. Okay. To have a lot, to have more uh, with the LCP Max, you're going to have a longer, uh, just a little bit of an extended rear subration. I do like this little cocking shelf right here. This is going to allow you to cock off your belt off a hard surface or even the. Okay. Boom. <laughs> and so it just goes in. This is. Just read it, yeah. I love that. The, okay, what is that? It's a Smith and Wesson oh, bodyguard, handed on occasion because that is. Okay.